Hey there, it's Michael. It's a great day to have a great day. It's also a great day to have a little lemonade because it is wicked hot outside. It is July after all. And it's a great day to be in yellow because the Tour de France rolls into Paris today. It finishes up in the city of love, Au Paris, such a beautiful city. And when you think about it, the Tour de France is the greatest sporting event ever created, full stop. And I'd love to intellectually joust with those who haven't yet, and I'll stress the yet, come to terms with this reality. When you think about it, come on. 200 cyclists riding centimeters away from each other, race over three weeks, all through France, 46 hours a day, without a halftime show, without timeouts, up and down, steep pitches, and Mother Nature just throws anything she wants at them. It is crazy in such a good, awesome sauce way. And when you see it in person, ah, oh, game changer. I've been lucky to see three tours. Now, if you don't know, the group of cyclists that race around France, it's called the Peloton. Of course, my coaching company has the name Peloton, as well as this adorable little fitness startup. They have the name Peloton. I sure hope they can become successful. Well, in the race, as in life and our career, a Peloton is made up of multiple teams and each team member on the team has a distinct role. Some people aim for stage wins or overall victory. Some are just helping out, domestiques. What we do is we focus on their strengths and what they bring to the team and what they bring to the race. And here's another awesome sauce thing. There's a lot of awesome sauce in this video. Even though they're competing against each other, those teams are working together. Teams work with other teams. The cyclists need each other. They need trust and they collaborate and they communicate so they can go down the road as fast and as safe as possible. They can't do this thing by themselves. The race is not a solo project, just like life. And even when you see a breakaway on TV that appear to be like solo endeavors, they're not. Those riders, those cyclists, need assistance from the team to break away towards victory, just like we do in life. And here's another thing. All the cyclists cross the same finish line, as we do in real life. The only question is when we cross it and how we race, not if we cross it. Now, not every cyclist makes it to Paris, especially this year, it's been sort of crazy. But just like in life, not everyone makes it to old age. That's the cold hard truth about life. But here's the thing about the race and life and career. Even if we just race one day, even if we make just a little impact, we cast a ripple out there and that ripple changes the world and changes the race. For me, the Peloton really is about connection and belonging. Yes, the cyclists are all connected to each other as they ride in their slipstream and they're all tightly packed. But think about it, that rolling caravan connects one little adorable French town after another. And there's no other sport that allows their fans to get as close to the athletes like cycling. Talk about connection, they're actually touching each other. It's crazy. And the tour isn't done in some arena. It is done in real life. Like living in traffic real life, just like our lives. So the question this week is, who are you riding with? Are you riding with folks who bring out the best in you? In essence, who is in your peloton? Because who is in your peloton will determine how fast you go forward. When I was recovering from my last bad day in the hospital back in 2001, I shared with my wife that my medical team and all the people sending me positive vibes, they were like my recovery peloton. They were helping me pedal towards my recovery to get back on my feet and eventually get back on the bike again. Today, I see it as your personal board of directors, people who bring out the best in you. And a good personal board of director, directors, well, they have many roles. People that can clarify things when you get stuck will be there in a crisis for you, be there to comfort you, challenge you, and celebrate you. And I have a worksheet if you want to pause, breathe, reflect on who's in your Peloton to help you shape your Peloton as we finish out 2021 and soon enough begin 2022. Many of you know per the personal development guru, Jim Rome. He talked about that you're the collective energy of the five people you spend the most time with. It's often quoted on social media as gospel and I'm not really sure it's right. That said, I, I don't know if it's wrong either because it's just a number that sounded good. Three probably seemed too small and six could have been a possibility because who doesn't like six? 
but he went with five. So anywho, here's the deal. Here's the truth. Whether you're trying to win the Tour de France, your career or life, which by the way, I don't think you can win a career. I don't think you can win life. They're just meant to be played, to be done. But stay with me. Here's the true essence of what I'm trying to say. Any endeavor that you have, it's impossible to do it alone. You need a strong Peloton. You need people who bring out the best in you. So back to the question, who is in your Peloton? And it's not a throwaway question. Heck, I put it on the back of every bit of Pause, Breathe, Reflect merch because the question is so essential to your success. So I want you to think about who's in your Peloton this week. And this week, coming up on the 21st, I'm going in for my total knee replacement. And I'm at peace with the risk. It's gonna be risky. But I know this, I'm riding with the best possible Peloton. That said, I could use a little bit of your good juice vibe. And if you're still watching at this moment in time, I consider you part of my Peloton. So that's one role I would love for you to play as I go into what is going to be a life altering surgery. So until next week, I'll give you an update on how the surgery went. Remember to pause, breathe, reflect. Think about who's in your Peloton. It will help you have more fun storming the castle. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.